So obviously, as I'm looking at this, I'm an hour into recording. That's presuming if this recording even comes to pass. Well, I guess you guys will know. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Yeah, that's kind of sad. But, uh, at any rate, uh, so I've been recording for about an hour. So, obviously I'm not going to say bye or anything, you know, in between episodes, because I'm probably going to split this and so far what I have, this is probably going to be episode three at least. So, because I'll probably do it like 20 minute chunks or so. And cut, you know, where it makes sense. So, there's that. Didn't want to do like half hour chunks, because, you know, people don't really want to sit and watch a video for half an hour. So, I'll try 20 minute chunks. If you guys like that, I'll stick with it. If not, I'll probably try 15 minute ones. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. Uh-oh. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> The Inaba Police Department. That's where Dad works. <sighs> uh, I selected it'll be all right before. Uh, so I wonder if I should ask if you are you worried about him or just be quiet. I'll choose this one. Uh uh, it's his job, so things like this happen. Oh. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna. Atop a local resident's roof. Okay. So, one thing that I will say about this is, um, the game will, alright, uh, slight spoilers for later. It's like real minor detail. The game will later say that it, she was hung by her feet from the antenna. But the way that they're describing it now makes them think that, you know, she was hanging from it. You know, kind of like hanging, you know, like from a noose or something. You know, instead of, like, the noose, but it's, like, from the antenna. That's what I thought of at first. And then they mentioned later on, it was, like, hung by her feet, kind of like, you know, like, they're using her as bait for something. So, it's kind of weird, because then they say, you know... Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. Now, see, they say either an accident or a homicide... Because, you know, you would think it would be a suicide, potentially, because they said it's hanging from the antenna. So, you know, you'd think, you know, suicide, you know, off yourself from the antenna. It's sad, but, you know, that's what I thought it was. And I thought that made the most sense. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. It seems that the local TV station announcer was found dead near the Yasogami high school campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano, her affair with the local new local councilman's secretary has been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. Uh, oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation <sighs> day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is a great at your June app. Every day is great at your June I've never met a kid that was so excited about a commercial. I mean, there's very few commercials that I would say are, like, great commercials. Uh, some of the Geico ones are pretty funny. Uh, a lot of the freecreditreport.com old commercials, do you guys remember those? You know, they had the song about the pirate hats and the, and the basement and all that stuff. It was pretty neat. Uh, very catchy songs. Never used the service, but, you know, it's it's memorable. And that makes sense. But, you know, this little jingle, Every day is a great day at Juneth. It's just, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't, it's not jingly enough in order to be really entertaining. But, you know, to each their own, I suppose. Nanako is looking at me unexpectedly. Uh, I selected Do You Like That Song the first time I played. Um, so I might say you're a good singer, or I might choose your Juness. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Alright, so if you select the first one, if it's like, do you like the song? 
They say it's a real popular song, even at school. So just kind of keep that in mind, too. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. So, it would make sense if she had, like, a TV show that she liked. But it's just a random commercial. Kind of, like, reminds me of a... Alright, so... Alright, so at my job, I take care of people that, uh... have intellectual disabilities. And one of them, basically, any time that the general car insurance commercial came on, he always had to say the tagline. And so, any time it came on, we always had to hear... Gotta go to the general and save some time! Over and over again. That's yeah, it's pretty funny. So, that, that's kind of like what that reminded me of. At any rate, uh, go to the TV. It's always a quiz show that I've noticed so far. Yeah, when's Dad coming home? You should leave her alone. Nothing catches your eye. You can't make anything. Uh, you can save the game, which is what I plan on doing. Excellent. And, of course, you can't leave because you're, you're still do t too tired. You can't leave. Uh, you're still tired. You should go to your room and rest. It'll tell you to rest. So we do that. And we go to the next day, which is fog. Or clouds. But, fog. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Alright, so I'm not going to lie. This really cracked me up the first time I saw this. It's <laughs> the <This> scrapped recording. <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I need to find a... <laughs> I need to find a GIF. I need to find a GIF of this. And I need to send it to McSpudger. And just be like, really? Is this is this what this guy is all about? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's just... It's so funny. It's just... Uh, just rolling around in the... Tr <laughs> Maybe you should help him out. Yeah. Yeah, we should. <laughs> Man. You saved me. Thanks. Um... I'm Ryan Isaac. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Ryan Isaac. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Hanamura. Uh, I asked, are you okay, the first time. Uh, so I said, nice to meet you too, this time. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> Yosuke seems to be alright. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Uh, I said you might be right, so this time I might say I don't know. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap, we're late. You want to ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. How are we both going to ride the bike? I would like to know the logistics of both of us riding a bike, especially since your nads seem to be, like, prone to being destroyed. Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you wanted? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that get curious about the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Morning. After school. So, you getting used to this place? Mm. I said yeah last time, so I'd say not yet now. Yeah, well, you just got here. Yeah. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. 
Yeah, that's what everybody that lives here says. The air's clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Surprise, it's a Chie. Huh? No apologies. Uh, what happened to you? My trial of the dragon. Oh yeah, that. You always come around Ditch! talking Ditch! about food. Ditch! 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 Ah, oh, Jesus. Sorry. Hopefully, I can edit that out. How bad at you, Kiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I understand why Chie thinks that she should be treated because you know he, he broke her DVD. That makes sense. But why Yukiko? Yukiko didn't have any damage done to her. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well. We should get going, too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Well, GG, Yosuke Hamanura. Junas Food Court. Cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Damn, bitch. You're getting free food. Calm your tits. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Wait, you own Juness? Holy shit. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. What? Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. The dislocation just opened up, and my dad was assigned to manage it. Oh, okay. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me, too. Yeah, I know. Damn, you're bitchy today. The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. Uh, there might be a reason why for that. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... Yeah, that might be a bit of Juness's fault there. Kinda have the Walmart effect. You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? Uh, yeah, kinda. I mean, if you basically open up a mega store and make all your things a hell of a lot cheaper by using crappy business practices, or, you know, like, very strong business practices, then, yeah, that usually closes a lot of mom-and-pop shops that are probably in the local shopping district. Hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. I said, who's that before? So I'm going to ask if she's Yusuke's girlfriend. <laughs> he wishes. Huh. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Oh. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why did I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? 
Uh, just a little bit, I guess. It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Ooh, sibling zone. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Uh, I said now nah, he's a great guy the first time. I wonder if I want to say yeah, he's annoying, but he's honestly really not that annoying. I think Chie honestly is the more annoying one, so I'll just say that's not true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh. <laughs> you had me going there, senpai. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Later. Oh, uh, senpai. Nope. And you got left. <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Get sibling zoned. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family run liquor store. And the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. Oh, really now? You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? Uh, GM, are, are you suggesting that, uh, that Yusuke watch porn? I mean, that's that's very progressive of you, I guess. I mean, I'm pretty sure he can find that on his own. But yeah, the Midnight Channel just sounds like a porn channel. Just saying. You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. Bum bum bum. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. Uh. And they say that person's your soulmate. Bum 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 again. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Yeah, no kidding. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Yeah, it's kind of like Bloody Mary or something. Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Uh, nope. I think you made that pretty clear. Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? <laughs> yeah, no wow. kidding. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just kind of creepy. Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel. Where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. It's evening time. <sighs> Another dinner alone with Nanako. Uh, I think I chose did your father call the first time, so we'll choose don't worry this time. Yeah. Oh, he's home! <sighs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. See, they mentioned hanging again. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. With Miss Yanamo, the TV announcer was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. 
The man's wife seemed to be Mizuzu Hiragi, an anchor singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. <sighs> an interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? That reporter sounds way too happy about the current situation. Uh, um. By the way, the voice is supposed to sound like that. I thought that my computer was fucking up with me when I first heard that, but no, it's supposed to be like that. The female student face and voice are instinct, but you feel like you've seen her before somewhere. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? What the hell does that have to do with the story? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Yes, yeah, perplexing me too. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki, Saki Konishi. Yosuke Senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> yeah, now they say they're hanging them upside down from an antenna. Before, they just said hanging from an antenna. Meaning, you know, that I thought they were just, like, hanging from their neck. But now they confirm that they're upside down. Meaning that, yes, it would make sense that it was either an accident or a murder. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Okay. S I swear to God. Okay. Either, like, Persona 4 has, like, YouTube ad syndrome where they just show the same ads over and over and over again or you know Juness is like literally the only commercial in the entire area which isn't true because at the beginning of the game they had the sexy lady with the uh, the magic soda or whatever Every day's great at your Juness. I'm going to get sick of this song Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? And Dojima falls asleep. No? I'm not a police detective, but I understand that feeling as a dad to sit on the couch with your child on you and falling asleep. Jeez. When I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Nanako is still watching TV. A quiz show is on TV. Dojima is sleeping. You should leave him be. Nothing in the refrigerator. Uh, let's save the game. 